What if I told you there is an easy way to track all of your marketing, whether that's email, ads, organic, paid, what have you. Today we're going to be talking about UTM codes, how to use them, what they can track, and ultimately how they can help you increase your return on marketing investment. Let's get to it. UTM stands for Urgent Tracking Module. Before Google Analytics was a thing, Urgent was the web analytics platform of choice. They read log files, made sense of it, and ultimately told website owners how people were interacting with their websites during the time of their popularity they created the urgent tracking module which told people where users were coming from it's a string of code on the end of a URL eventually Google Analytics would come to acquire urgent and use that technology to create what we now know as Google Analytics the good thing is they kept the support for UTM codes urgent tracking modules and they've actually made them quite popular Popular. See, that UTM code, like I said, is a string of code that goes on the end of a URL and passes information to Google Analytics about source, medium, campaign, keyword, and content. Those five things can all be defined in the UTM code and then transferred into Google Analytics. So let's talk about how you make this code. So thankfully, Google actually has a tool that makes it very easy to create UTM codes. Um, if you just type in UTM generator, it's going to be the first thing that pops up on Google, um, but it's one of their web dev tools. Um, and you can see all you have to do is drop in your website URL. So I'm going to put the, you can put your ads campaign ID in here if you want. I'm gonna skip that. Uh, YouTube, UTM, video, that's the medium. So you can put the medium here. Um, you, you'll see that they give you specific examples of what to put here. So like the source would be YouTube um, and then the medium would be like CPC, banner, email, and then you can put you know the content name here. You can really put whatever you want in each of these sections. It doesn't matter exactly what you put there. Um, all of this just gets transferred to Google Analytics regardless of what you're putting in here. So uh, I always kind of just put it in terms that make sense to me. I do suggest, however, standardizing that uh, the way that these UTMs are built and uh, I will explain to you why and uh, show you an easy way to do that. But as you can see, I put in the URL, the source, the medium. I could put even more in here if I wanted to. So like, let's say this is gonna be in the description box. Um, and then you can see as you scroll down, it creates the URL with the UTM code. So that string of code for you right here in the platform, you can just copy it and paste it and you'll you'll be good to go. Paste it wherever you wanna use it. You can even create a shortened link if you want, uh, so on and so forth. But like I said, you create it here, you've generated it um, and you use it, that's really it, right? Um, personally, I like to keep track of all the UTM codes that I am using. So I use a custom Google Sheet that I created and you can see it's kind of got the same setup. So you have your URL, you put your URL in here, you pick your source from a drop down, um, or you can type in a source if you would like. Um, medium from drop down, again, you can type in something if you would like. Um, your campaigns, and then once you have all that filled out, it creates the URL for you um, with your source, medium, and uh, campaign. The reason that I like to do it like this is so that I can go back, you can even put notes in this sheet, so that you can always go back and know exactly what it was that generated your results, right? You can see, oh, um, the post that we put out on whatever day generated a certain amount of money, or maybe you wanna make sure that you're using the same standardization, what have you. All of your UTMs um, and URLs are going to live in one place so that you can always refer back to them. Here's a side note on UTMs. They are case sensitive. So again, just another reason why you want to standardize the UTMs that you're creating, because if you have 
organic with a capital O and then organic with a small O, you're gonna run into it some issues and have to end up using a regex filter and all sorts of stuff. And you, you really don't wanna have to do that if you don't have to. Now, these codes, you will drop them into your web browser. When people click on them, they're not going to know that the UTM is on the is on the url and also it's not going to change the experience at all so you can see i landed right here on the beast homepage, just as if i were to go to the beast homepage by typing it in or if i had gotten the link um, without the source medium and all that stuff in the utm code once a user clicks on that url that information so the source the medium and the campaign from this are all going to be given to Google Analytics. So now if I go into Google Analytics and I go acquisition, all traffic, source medium, and look at today, I will see that visit that came in from this post. So the source right here is Facebook. You'll see it right here. This is a source. The medium I have on here is organic carousel and it says organic carousel. I can add a secondary dimension of campaign and you can see it says UTMs, which is the campaign that was created in the UTM code. So now I can see exactly where people are coming from. And if you pair that along with any of the goals that you've created, um, if you have e-commerce, it will show you right here how much money or how many leads you are generating from a specific post or a specific strategy or even just that specific URL. Once you've created your UTM codes, you are able to go into Google Analytics and see how traffic from those specific users are performing on your website. So let's just take a scenario. Let's say you have a email newsletter that you send out every single Friday. And every once in a while you send out exclusives, let's call them once a month, and those go out on Tuesdays. Well, if you didn't use UTM codes, all of that traffic would come through just as email traffic. And how would you know if your newsletter or your exclusives are performing better? That's where UTMs come into play. If you were to use the source as email and the medium as newsletter, for your newsletters that go out on Fridays and your source as email and medium as exclusive on the exclusives, then you would see those two things come in separately to be able to tell which one is generating the best user engagement or even the most money. But that's just one example. This can be used again on your Google My Business page so you can see what traffic is coming from Google My Business. It can be used in your emails. Maybe you have multiple call to actions and you wanna know which one is generating the best results. You can use it on your ads. So different ad sets or different ads in general have different UTM codes so you can see which one's performing best. Maybe you wanna use it on your social media posts. That's a way that I like to use it. Put it in your different bios on social media. The opportunities honestly are endless. Anytime you're using a URL, you can and probably should be using a UTM code. If you come across any questions at all, please let me know. But just for sticking around to the end, I do want to offer you exclusive access to the UTM sheet that I've built in Google Sheets. And don't forget, if you want access to that UTM builder that I showed you, the link is in the description below. It is a view only link. Once you go to view, you will see that the file button in the top left corner. Click on file, click on make a copy, and you'll be able to create your own copy. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget, you're a beast.